everybody, it's Matt here. I know it's been a while since I've made any videos lately, but today I rode about 20 minutes to this local, I'd call it a creek, but it's actually called a river. It's the Pascomance River. Um, this flows into the Slocum River. And <clears throat> so basically I'm fly fishing because I came here yesterday with my ultralight setup and I caught a red fin pickerel, which is extremely rare and I've never caught one before in my entire life and it was such a cool looking fish. I've also heard there were, that there are trout in here, big brook trout, big, and they make saltwater runs down into the Slocum River. My dad's caught one, I've never caught one, so if I can hook up with a brook trout, that would be the coolest thing ever. Uh, hopefully I can catch some redfin pickerel. Whatever I can get, I can get. So basically I'm gonna be using this little five weight, eight and a half foot. I'm using this little, starting off with this little non-beaded, white woolly bugger little thing um, I'm basically just gonna cast you can see there's some there's some moving water right there really 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 moving water or maybe you can't see but it's it's really really moving and then right here it's really really moving but then right in the middle it's all slack I'm gonna be casting all in there because there might be a predator waiting to sit in that slack water uh, I'm gonna cast all over here but I'm also gonna wade down the river a little plus there's another spot on the other side of the river if I have to go over there I will so Stay tuned guys, should be a good episode, and let's get to fishing. Okay guys, so I just spooked, like I didn't even mean it, he just bolted off. It was definitely either a trout or a pickerel, because I, I actually saw the body, was right in the shallow cove right here. So I fished this whole bank, fished everything, covered everywhere. First fish I saw was right here. He didn't spook, I don't think he's left, so I might be able to catch him, but who knows. So, this spot right here looks like a perfect predator ambush area. The water slows down quite a bit from being really, really fast. There's a lot of shade, a lot of cover. And you can see some branches in the water. It looks perfect. You know, it's a little bit deeper. So let's see if I can get one here. It's a chain pickerel. God. God. Still a beautiful, beautiful chain pickerel. I think he's a chain pickerel. Yeah, it's definitely a chain pickerel. Oh, I thought you were a redfin, buddy. I didn't know there were chains in here. That means that there's chain pickerel in here with these redfins. Not this. Oh, come here, buddy. Sorry about that. That means that there are other species other than... Redfin. I knew there were other species. I didn't know they were chain though. Still a cool catch. He ate it perfectly. His line wasn't, I mean, my line wasn't rubbing against his teeth. Nothing. And there we go, guys. Come on, buddy. He's on soft ground, guys. It's not like he's going to get hurt by a rock. I want to get a nice little shot of him. And then we'll get a nice little underwater release. Oh crap, guys, I'll be right back at the release. You want to get a nice release? You're still kicking. There she goes. Yes! First fish of the day. In this spot. I'm Perfect for a predator. If you hit it like right in the middle, just in the darkness. I saw the bait just disappear. Nice little I really thought it was a redfin. So excited. But it's fine. Anything is amazing in this beautiful place. And I'm a fly rod. A fish is a fish, and that was awesome. Let's get another one, you guys. You guys, so this next little stretch of river, first of all, there's a fish right there. I spooked something from the shore right here. I couldn't help it. I had to walk through, um, whatever. But this little slow moving stretch, first of all, there's a rock right there, and that looks perfect for a predator. This slow moving stretch of river right here 
should be absolutely perfect for me to catch one. It's open, it seems pretty substantially deep because it's slow moving. So, let's catch one. saw him eat it the first time I just said oh because I saw me it and then I went back and this is a redfin I think am I hyping everyone up or is this a redfin no it's another chain wow these redfins must be super rare it's another oh, don't move buddy come on come on oh I'm gonna unhook you right now I'm gonna unhook you right now another perfect perfect hook set yeah it's another little chain still a little beauty and fun to catch but oh stop it buddy this guy's oh no 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 I want to get a nice release on you this guy's much smaller actually this one might be a hybrid no way look at that pattern guys it's like banding just like on the red fins and it does have semi red fins this could be either a red fin or a hybrid I can see some chaining in there, but you see the banding? You see what I'm talking about? Okay, well, she's been out of the water long enough. Or he. I don't know. Stop, stop, stop. Very healthy. It's fish number two, guys. That could be a hybrid. I caught, I think I caught a hybrid yesterday that had perfect banding, but had no red fins. It was a really light color. So who knows, that could be a hybrid. That could have been a chain. I don't think it was a true red fin, definitely not, because the pattern wasn't distinct enough, but whatever. A fish is a fish. That was awesome. Let's get a red fin. Holy crap, guys, I'm so sorry. I just stood here and took one cast, a single cast, right in front of me a giant pickerel probably like 15 to 18 inches explodes on it right in front of me i just stopped the bait right about to turn the gopro on it takes four cats before i walk this giant pickerel explodes on it i set the hook he cuts it like butter because he was that big he swallowed the whole thing i didn't get any hook set though so he's gonna spit it out hopefully i can find it again because trust me i know i've literally had a giant swim bait had a 20 inch pickerel come up eat the whole thing snap my line clean and then watch him spit the whole thing with two treble hooks out and watch it the lure sink to the bottom i'm telling you this place is where all the predators are hanging i just got a bite over there on the same cast and i brought it in all the way just let it sit about to turn the gopro on i see the splash a turn on it then i set the hook and that was it i didn't bring the rest of the flies with me like an idiot so i'm gonna go back i'm gonna also grab my portable charger to charge this baby because I'm running at this spot. I'll be back and I'm back at this spot. And yeah. Hey okay guys, I'm back and I'm in this spot. I'm now using, which seems to be working because again, I didn't turn the camera on. I took one cast and a little tiny one splashed out of the water trying to eat it right there. I'm going to cast there again. Hopefully get him. But I'm using a little black woolly bugger now with a little bead head. And the bead head really shines in the water. Pretty sure I got a piece of him, so that's why. 
I mean, there are there's fish literally sitting right there. But obviously, I'm gonna take my time, catch every fish that I can. I'm pretty sure I got a piece of this fish though. I'm pretty sure he knows not to eat this anymore. So next. This is the exact same rock I stood on last time. I think so. Yep, like I said, guys, this little stretch. Come on. Oh my god. Sure that was a red thing. Ah. Oh, well, I'm counting this as, as a catch. It just. God, there was a nice one. That was a nice fish. That was not a baby. That was probably a good like 10 inch or at that time too. Guys, a true 
redfin. Oh, what a pretty animal. What a pretty animal. Look at those fins. Look at that tiger pattern on him. Holy cow. Caught on the fly rod. That is a beautiful fish. Oh my. You can see a good thing about the redfin is that if you look at their belly, you can see the stripe. See that? You can see it. That's what I was looking at the train fit girl. You can't see that. Look at those red, red fins. What a beautiful fish right here, guys. This is what I, I came here for. I came here for this red fin. And he missed it several times until I finally got him. Wow, I'm so happy. What an incredibly beautiful fish. Look at those fins. Holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna let you go, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna give her a little bit more water. get away actually she's gonna get away let me bring her over here to release her where it looks like it gets more of a yeah, hard clay like thing look at that fish holy cow what a beautiful fish every time I go to hold her she goes to flip to the river. This is where we were stopping. I knew there was going to be a predator somewhere in here. Uh, she missed it three times. Or he. I keep saying she. Don't know why. He missed it. Or it missed it three times before I finally hooked up. And I was about to leave. Not catching that thing. I thought I thought I'd lost it the first time after it wouldn't come back. I guess. But I'm so happy I just determinedly stayed and caught it. Redfin guys. That's a beautiful redfin pickerel. I'm so happy I caught that. What's up guys? I am not gone. I just walking right up the creek. I just caught this little chain pickerel right in. This is no joke the best spot in the river. This place has produced me like four fish already. Or I missed one, but or I missed two of them, but it doesn't matter. But here we go, here's another one. This guy's a little chain pickerel. You can see they're, they're completely different fish than the red fins. Oh, well there he goes quickly. So I just want to really it, but yeah, I just want to show you. I got him right in the middle, just just casting, and then all of a sudden I felt the weight set the hook. Perfect hook set. Beautiful little pickerel. Hopefully we can get some more. Who knows? If not, then 